Okay. I thought I'd show you a bit of uh, one of the other projects that I have going on right now. This is the rotor from my Hobart welder generator, which I don't have at home right now. It's actually at my work. I don't really have room for it right now, so I'm keeping it over there for now. It's been apart for several months now, and I've only been working on it a little bit at a time. The, uh, the engine for it is a twin cylinder Wisconsin THD. Uh, the serial number uh, dates it to 1958. It's a, I think it's a 200 amp welder and a 6 kilowatt generator. Not sure. I'll have to check the plate next time, next time I'm working on it. I just brought the rotor home to clean that up. Let's see, uh, clean the commutator up. Has both the DC uh, output and the AC. I weighed this. This rotor weighs 75 pounds. I weighed it at the scale at work. Has a two-inch diameter shaft, which couples to the shaft of the uh, engine uh, via. You know, a very uh, large coupling, which also serves as a flywheel, I, I guess, and a fan, a cooler, a cooling fan, big cast iron thing. Anyway, that's, that's two inch diameter. I believe the shaft on the engine is one and a half inch diameter. I'm not sure. It's been a while, but it's 75 pound hunk of steel and copper. You know, the plates. I mean. The plates don't are, don't feel worn out. I mean, I can definitely feel that this uh, worn area is lower than the unworn area, but that could just be the oxidation buildup. So anyway, I'm going to clean that real well. The AC side is nice and smooth all the way around. The bearing is tight. I mean, there's no play in it, but it, it's not very. It's, it turns tight, so I'll have to pull that off and re repack it with grease. I also uh, need new brushes for it. The two, uh, I should say, the, there's eight brushes. There's four DC brushes and two and four AC brushes. Um, I, I will need new brushes, at least for the AC side. There are two chipped brushes. I don't know how that happened. Probably happened when I was pulling the rotor out. But that shouldn't be a big deal to find. All the coils look good. I mean, the the wrapping here is it was you know, it was all covered in resin, so everything is nice and tight. Don't worry about that too much. There's a place where the resin flaked off there. I can just figure some kind of epoxy or something to cover that up, keep from corroding. Windings on the end are all fine. Nothing's nothing's exposed. So that's good. The engine's fine. The engine's in perfect shape. It runs great. I, I had it running off the welder. Um, no smoke, no knocks. I did have to buy a new exhaust manifold for the engine. Uh, the mounting ears on the old one had broken off. Found a new old stock uh, manifold for it on eBay for like like 25 bucks. That was a good deal. That's down at the storage unit right now. It's crank start only, no electric start, no provisions for it. Uh, magneto ignition, uh, Fairbanks Morse magne Magneto, I believe. So, sometime I'll get a video of that, the other parts, and then eventually I'll reassemble it.